What's going on, folks? It's Javon Moore with FI 360 News. We're back again for the NCAA football season 2017 style. This year, we started the kickoff here at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. We got a chance to watch a great game between USC and Western Michigan. Western Michigan put up a great fight, but unfortunately, they came out on the losing end 49 to 31. But they did have some sparks today. They had a 100-yard kickoff return man in the third quarter to tie the game back up 28 to 28, but it just wasn't enough. We got a chance to go in the press conference and talk to Clay Helton today, and guess what he said? We celebrate all wins. So whether it's a big win, a gritty win, a top 25 team, or a team that was unranked, it doesn't matter. A win is a win. He said right now we're one and on. We're moving on the next week so they relied today on that running game in the end everybody in the stadium thought they should have relied on it in the first quarter but they finished up with 232 yards they found out that Ronald Jones the third being 10 pounds heavier is still just as fast just as powerful and they learned the freshman Stephen Carr can come in here and relieve Ronald Jones and they wouldn't miss a beat so we'll get a chance to see more of them throughout the season. We're going to go ahead across the street to UCLA to check in on them in a little bit and see what's happening against UCLA and Texas A&M. All right, folks. Well, we're back. What's going on, folks? It's Javon Moore with F5360 News here with our UCLA correspondent, Carlos Gonzalez. We're at the Rose Bowl today, man. All we can say is, wow, UCLA playing Texas A&M, coming back from 35 points down. Josh Rosen throwing four touchdowns for 296 yards in the fourth quarter. Man, Carlos, what did he do for the whole game? Well, uh, Josh Rosen, 39 for 59, 491 yards, four touchdowns. But that second half, it's something he wants to remember and something uh, NFL teams would want to see all season. The first half is a little, something he wants to forget. But uh, a couple fumbles in the first half, but that second half, he was able to get a little bit more time. The offensive line gave him a little bit more time to create. He was accurate with the ball pretty much all night. Um, besides those two fumbles, I would say this was one of uh, Josh Rosen's best college games. Nah, definite. So we got a chance to see a great one, folks. Let's run inside to the press conference, let you hear a little bit from Jim Moore, and we'll be back to wrap this up. lot of fun. <laughs> you glad you stuck around? Um, you know, I just thought it was, uh, here's what I thought, and so I told our guys, is that we're trying to build something special here. Um, it all starts with the culture, and, uh, you know, tonight I saw us take a, a step in a positive direction. I told them it didn't start at halftime. It started January 6th when they came back uh, after a disappointing season last year and, uh, and went to work with Coach Elosi in the offseason. And every day since, I've just seen an attitude, uh, a camaraderie, a sense of purpose, um, a brotherhood start to, to form. And um, we knew that uh, this was not going to be an easy game, but we didn't know we were going to be on 28 points at halftime. And I was just so impressed by the way that they managed their emotions. Um, at halftime and then coming back in the second half. And I just saw a team that trusted each other. They had confidence in each other. They had a ton of poise. I saw uh, a coaching staff that uh, made great adjustments. And I saw players that, uh, that embraced those adjustments, owned them. And when you do that, you're capable of doing things like we did tonight. Um, hey, Well, you got a chance to hear from Coach Moore. At halftime, he told those guys, don't worry about the score. All we have to do is go out there and execute, put points on the board, and stop them from scoring points. And that's exactly what they did. I know the people on the East Coast are already asleep, but guess what? When they wake up in the morning and see UCLA 45, Texas a m 44, they're going to say, wow. And it was two great guys out there today. Who was Josh Rosen's favorite target tonight, would you say? I would say... Uh Throughout the whole game, it was definitely two guys who stepped up. You can't say he had a favorite target. I would say uh, 
Darren Andrews and, and Caleb, uh, the young man from Sarah, stepped up phenomenally in that fourth quarter, and anything thrown his way was a catch. It definitely was a catch. And those talking about Sarah, we can't leave out that other boy from Sarah, Jordan Lazuli. He had two touchdowns today, none more important than the last one with less than a minute, 43 seconds to be exact, left in the game, catching that pass in the deep end zone on the south side where UCLA used to come out for the touchdown. And all they had to do then was kick the extra point, and they had the 45-44 to 44 victory. So you know what? It's going to be a long season. We always want you to tune in to FI 360 News to get all your news, sports, and entertainment. So until then, folks, make it a great one.